magic. What's that? Could it be another episode of Magician's Quest? It is. Wow. You must be so amazed after clicking on this video, not knowing what it could possibly be. Anyway, um, welcome back, folks. Uh, I wanted to play some more, um, you know, mo more before this episode, but, um, some, uh, well, a new Pocket Camp update came out, so I had to cover that. Not my best work ever, but, you know, I got, I got her done. Oh, I forgot how rich we are. And, um, yeah, so I literally just posted that a couple of hours ago, so now I finally have some free time to donate, donate to, um, that's the wrong word, I can't think of the right word. Some time to, uh, give to Magician's Quest. And of course we start... Our day, like any good day, starts out by picking up the mushrooms growing out of our carpet. But anyway, sadly, my parents return from Hawaii in just a few hours. It's very sad. I, uh... <clears throat> I had a good run here. I had free reign. I fed the cats. But I will have to return to my normal schedule of not recording Magician's Quest quite as often. Um, which is a bit of a bummer, because I really wanted to ask one of the hotties at her town out. Alright, we still have an unoccupied house. Everyone else is the same, though. Hannah, our newfound rival, is still here. Um, but yeah, it's been kind of a stressful day. I mean, the the thread wasn't too hard to put together, but um, I had some trouble taking out the garbage that involved picking up a large pile of garbage at 6 in the morning. So that was fun. And there's this like YouTube junk I couldn't get sorted out. It's it's still stressing me out a little bit. I, I want to be, you know, just totally comfortable recording with you guys, but there were some issues I found. But whatever. I think it'll be okay. I talked to the support for a while. The person I spoke with was actually pretty nice, but the issue itself is a little frustrating. I can't really get into it anymore. Um, but yeah. So, it's 8 in the morning. I think it's been a while since I played this early. Um, and I think it's been like three days or so since I did that little mystery time thing. Hey, Shelly. Oh, is there something you want to talk to me about? It must be hard delivering mail. Rain or shine or storm or snow, you have to deliver mail every day. People love getting letters though, don't they? I guess you don't just deliver the mail, you deliver happiness too. Good lord. Giant shadow. Oh my god, Havana's dressed like some kind of crazy... like, biker chain gang death metal outfit. Haley Blossom is so impressed with that chair by taking her fishing. When we were there, she started crying because she couldn't check for a single fish. Aw, well. That's interesting. I wonder if it actually did that dialogue because Blossom is depressed, like her personality, or if that's just. Uh, Okay, I wonder if Victoria's not up yet. I would imagine the pessimistic, depressive personality doesn't get up very early. Um, alright, so let's see, it's the 13th, so it's not a haunted house day. So I don't know why I'm going up here. There is a quest in the cave. I'm actually thinking, I don't know, I'm thinking of skipping it. Because when I actually do a real Let's Play for this game, 
I'm... I don't know. I, will it be lame to just redo all the mysteries I already showed off in this little test run? But also, the problem is that I forgot to look up the, you know, what you have to do. So, I, I just don't want to repeat of the, uh, the river monster debacle. Oh, we already heard this story, Alexander. Oh boy. I guess I'll see if there's a class uh, available. I may have to change the time of the class. Yeah, it's closed right now. how I have control of the class at any given moment, like, if I'm ever around and class isn't open, I can just be like, okay guys, let's start class today. And just like that. I think we already know this lesson, right? Yeah. Whatever. No thanks. I guess I'll check out the department store. Maybe I will do the mystery just to knock it out. More, I would much, I would care much more about um, advancing things with Sanderson and Victoria, but I don't know how that's gonna work. I'm not sure if it's too early for them to be up. I feel like Sanderson would get up early with his personality type. Um, not sure though. Where the fuck does he even live? Okay. What? This is complete bullshit. Oh my god. Well, I already started recording. What am I gonna do for all this time? Is everywhere closed? Okay, this is bad. I thought places opened at 8. I don't know, Alexander, do you want to hang out? Hey, Smelton. Have you heard? Everyone is saying Smelton and Victoria were all alone at night. I know it's just a rumor, but is there some truth to it, I imagine? Yeah, that's true. We were definitely, uh, you know, catching flies, if you know what I mean. I don't want to hear any more about this dragon. Damn, alright. So Sanderson and Victoria are both. Wait, that's not. This is Sanderson's house, right? Okay, I guess he's asleep too. Wow. Alright, well. Whew, alright, less to do at the moment than I thought. I guess I will. Uh, I'll, yeah, I'll have to look up this mystery, I guess. Um, I have plenty of money, so it's not really worth creature farming. So, uh, yeah, might as well see if we can knock out this mystery. Is this a tuber truffle? Hmm. This game looks so nice on this, uh, <clears throat> totally official way I'm playing the game. Alright, I think it's, uh, I think the dragon's in the cave, if I remember correctly. I think I've seen this mystery completed a couple times. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I'm yawning so much. I got up at 6 p.m. last night, so it's actually very close to my bedtime. Actually, yeah, I'm going to pause to look this up real quick. Be right back. Okay, so I looked it up. This, um... So, yeah, this quest is actually really hard. Um, 
This is one of the few quests that has like a really high requirement for like materials you need. And I don't really feel like farming those materials, so I'm just going to skip this one, guys. Oh, I want to get whatever that is, though. A crane fly. Interesting. Um, yeah, so basically you need, a, you need one of the uh, good jewels. I think uh, you need like a turquoise, an emerald, or a sapphire. And I had plenty of those. <laughs> that I earned during mystery time, but I sold all of them because I was like, I'll never need these. Uh, kind of forgetting about uh, how this particular mystery worked. So, um, I really do not want to try to find one. But I guess there's nothing else to do for a half hour, so I guess I could just kind of stop by the ocean and do some fishing over there. I think there's an extremely low chance I will actually get one of those stones, but you know, if I get lucky, then uh, I could, you know. And if not, then at least I did some stuff. Um, oof. I am struggling to figure. I don't know. I figured more people would be up at this hour because you can start classes as early as 8 a.m. I didn't think the stores would all be closed until 9 a.m. I guess I could pause, but I don't know. What are these guys doing? Ooh, keep this under wraps. Let's play something. Let's play... I don't know, whatever this is. Oh, guys, don't leave. Oh, they're joining me. Okay. I definitely picked the most boring song. What is this? And this is all percussion, so we're not really getting a melody here. It just does. Let's play something better. Let's play Cardiac Filter or whatever it is. Oh, Havana has dark ideas. I think I remember this one. It goes like do 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 do. Alright, Alexander wants to talk. We'll just abide by his wishes. Yeah, 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 I really don't care. I'm not doing that. Hi. <sighs> Good lord, stop talking about the dragon. Heidi ho Naomi is actually really cool according to the rumors. She's a really cool, really ticklish insect. That's what I think. Alright, how are we doing on our inventory? Got some stuff. I wanted to hang out with Alexander, but he didn't seem into it. Oh, I wonder if we could, like... Actually, you know what? I bet we could invite him ourselves. Hey, Havana. Have you heard? Oh my god. This, ru this rumor is not very interesting, the one about Naomi. Okay. Uh, where is Alexander? Where did he go? I swear, the classmates move so fast in this game. They can't possibly... I've got to think they, like, warp around a little, right? Like, this just doesn't seem physically possible. He was right here. And there's, like, some places you never see them. Like, I never see them walking, you know, this way or whatever. Anyway, so... I really wanted to, um... Play some Splatoon. To... Blow off some steam, but... 
I don't know, this is like my last chance to make an episode before my parents got back, so... Once when I was young, my father took me skiing. No matter how many times I tried to slide down the hill, I would always fall over into the snow. I was so bad at it. Afterwards, though, Dad took me to the ski lodge and bought me a steaming hot mug of hot chocolate. It tasted so good. Aw, that's a sweet story. Relatable, though, I'm sure. I'm sure that would be me on the ski slope. Well, if I can't find Alexander, so Shelly, do you want to hang out? Oops. I was saying earlier that, you know, we, we can't keep hanging out because Victoria's going to hear about it, but uh, we can't even invite her to hang out anyway. I thought our relationship was good enough. I guess not. Well, I guess I'll just do a little fishing. I suppose I, well, I don't know. I could pause the recording, but that seems kind of lame. I don't know if I'd like to do that. So, I was watching a show today, well I've been watching it for the past couple days actually, it's called Yellow Jackets, it's about the this like team of soccer girls, uh, this team of high school soccer, girls soccer, high school team, I don't really know how I'm supposed to be combining these words, but you know what I'm trying to say. Um, and they... They're in a plane crash, and they like land in the wilderness, and then, you know, I guess maybe they resort to cannibalism, I guess, in order to survive. I don't know. It looks pretty, pretty freaky, pretty freaky, and pretty interesting. So, um, I don't know. It's like, it's not one of those sp shows that makes you feel like spiritually fulfilled by watching it. It's it's like kind of showy. It's kind of... I mean, the characters are good and interesting. It's just, um... It's sort of like prestige junk food. It's medium seahorse. That's interesting. I don't think I have one. I mean, it's better than junk food. It's just not... I don't know. It's not, the sh it's not saying anything, really. That saying something, it's not really saying anything interesting, I guess. Um, let's see, I've also been watching, I think the Chucky season two is out. I don't like love the series, but um, it's kind of fun. It's like some horror fun. Brisk fall morning, cloudy fall morning. It's very cloudy here too. It's raining pretty hard actually, but uh, I went out at like 6 a.m. to get some Panera. Decided to embrace my inner basic bitch and get some Panera. Can't help it though, that shit's good. Got a really good sandwich. Alright, we got a raspberry. Hear a cricket? But I don't see it. Is it like back here, or is it just imaginary? I think it's imaginary. All right, let's see if there's any fish around. Oh, there's something out there. I summon ye fish. There's oh, a little guy. Oh shit! God, I didn't mean to do that. 
It is morning though, which is probably why we got that seahorse when we hadn't before. So. Man, I really fucked that up. I feel like that was the only fish here. My finger slipped. Oh, there's one. I tell you guys though, I'm ready to move. It is getting to be too cold for me where I live. I have a very low tolerance for cold. I mean, if it's like below 60, like just fucking forget it. That's just, that's freezing for me. I will not tolerate it. Alright, we got another here. No more ore fish, but that's alright. Blue spotted box fish. All right, this is actually turning out to be pretty productive. I'm catching some new stuff. I'm honestly not even sure I have all of these in my main file. I should hop on that at some point. Seahorse, what a cutie. I don't know if there was another one or not. This water looks delicious. It looks like those blue, like, fake juice when you were a kid, like those Mondo bottles. The blue flavor was, like, very bright blue. So the, uh, the, the back half of October in Packet Camp it looks pretty cool. So right now there's like a potion fishing tourney going on. So you can get lots of potions. Although like there was a potion fishing tourney for Halloween only two years ago. So I don't really know why they couldn't have come up with a different theme. But you know what, at least it's Halloween-y. And then um, at the end of the month there's like a spooky cemetery scavenger hunt, which is... I'm pretty excited for that. I think some of the items look pretty cool. I think, uh, at least this year looks a little scarier than last year, because the last two years were, like, not scary at all. In a way that, like, bummed me out. This one's, a, this one's not scary, but it's, well, it's a little scarier. I mean, obviously, it's, like, a game that's supposed to be kid-friendly, so it's not gonna get like blood and guts but I'd like some zombie brains or you know something but uh yeah the cookies are kind of a letdown there was like a there's like a vampire circus carnival fair and then there's like a wizard classroom so very appropriate for this game but not really uh Nothing that's really absolutely knocking my socks off in that department. I'm not really going to be spending much money on them. I mean, probably no, no money at all. A 
huge seahorse. Anyway, sorry, my comment, I mean, I feel a little bad. There's not a lot going on at the moment in this game, and my commentary is not going to be very good either, because, um, you know, I, I'm really tired. It's getting really close to my bedtime. I know that's freakish, considering it's, uh, you know, quarter to nine in the morning, but I keep weird hours, what can I say? Sleep schedules are just a social construct. I don't subscribe to them. I wonder if there's anything in this pond. Anything? Any takers? Bueller? I wonder if there's anything in the river. Could be. some glitchy texture on the other side of the river, but no fish yet. There's a fish. say this now if you want to skip to when all the stores open and more people will be up uh, you can skip ahead to 12 minutes from this point because it's 848 right now unless I pause if I pause before then will be less time that's math for you <laughs> Alexander went. It's like he was scared off by the threat of us dragging him to go fishing again. Can't believe no one else is up. It's almost nine in the morning. Gonna sleep all day? He said before he slept all day. Allowed in. But yeah, I got a, I got a good sandwich. It was like a, it was like an egg and spinach and tomato and over easy egg. Some sausage, white cheddar, I think, on some weird bread I'd never heard of. It was like Miff or Mill or like some white thing. Um, but it was pretty tasty. I can't complain about that. Alright, I think I'll just turn these in and then maybe just sit in my room and listen to music for a little bit. I had a heart flower. I don't need that. I need a, a gem. I need you to pull a gem out of your hat, your ass. I don't think books really have asses, but your spine, I guess. Pull it out of your spine. Mm. 
punch, punch, punch. Oh, you mean another lapis lazuli. Not that I need another one. The one I have is working just fine. I don't remember what that was for. Was that for the huge spiny lobster? Not a bad trade. Oh, wait. I bet this isn't one of the ones I need, is it? I'm pretty sure I need a turquoise, an emerald, or... Yeah, no, I need an emerald, uh, an aquamarine, or a sapphire. That's what it is. Can't forget that I have one bug to give the other book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. None of this is very helpful, TBH. Sorry! Alright, that's a decent haul for sure. Didn't get one of the gems we really needed, but that's okay. I honestly... Like, you don't get a reward for completing these mysteries. And I'm certainly not going to complete them all, you know, in this playthrough, so... I'm not super emotionally attached to uh, the idea of finishing it. This one I can let go. Let me see if my raspberries are still good in my bureau. I can't remember. I feel like... Yeah, I think they do stay good. Am I crazy? Yeah, they're, they're still good in there. I guess I'll save this amethyst. Just because I have a lot of money right now. Not a big deal. Alright, what are all these? Yeah, that's a good one. Huh. I'm realizing I know this song live, but I don't really know the studio version very well. Hmm. I'm realizing you really can't, like, weigh the playability of these songs by the studio versions. Because this one sounds super good live, but this doesn't sound... I mean, it looks, it sounds good, but... Actually, I do really like this, but it just sounds super different live is what I'm trying to say. I think I'm going to learn Hear Me Now, just to see... Like, what if this has an amazing live version, even the, so the song itself kind of sucks? <laughs> like, what is this? It sounds like someone just, like, accidentally... I don't know... Having some kind of epilepsy on the keyboard or something. No offense to anyone who's epileptic. Oh, I like this part. See, it's good to give songs a chance, because there, there could be a decent part later. Despite a terrible beginning. Yeah, I like this actually. I'm just dreading for it to get back to the normal part though. Reminds me of a uh, monkey ball a lot, super monkey ball music. Not this part, this part sucks. Yeah, I don't I don't know what they were smoking on this one.
Sounds like the inside of the head of uh, the head of someone really nasty you meet on the bus, like someone who just has a like a really uncomfortable view of reality. Please, God, make it stop soon. prayer was heard, even though I am mostly atheist. Alright, this one's really good. I mean, everyone thinks so, but it's true. I mean, come on. You know, there are times I think, you know, Night Garage is overrated, but then I hear it and I'm like, you know what, this, no, this really is one of, if not the best song in the game, as far as, uh, you know, st studio songs. You know, it just, in this... Title Night Garage is perfect. You just feel like you're in a garage at night and just doing your thing, working with your tools in a kind of cool neighborhood. It's kind of cool and dark at night and just having a good time doing your thing. Just a little, not like a big crazy party, but just like a little party to yourself, you know? You know, maybe some chips or some Cheetos. Crazy flavored soda, like cotton candy soda or something. Oh yeah, that's the good shit. <laughs> Alright, it is basically 9 o'clock now, so that did eat up enough of our time. Now we can finally move on with our lives. I don't know if anyone else will be up now, but at least we can go shopping. And if no one else is up, then god, I'm just gonna call it quits. I mean, I'm tired anyway. I'll, I'll just have to apologize for a pretty uneventful episode. Oh no, that's not what I meant to do. My broom. I can't ride my guitar. It was perfect. I mean, it didn't actually line up with the music, but it was, uh, playing the same song. Alright, everywhere is open now. Let's sell some of this crud. Oops, nope, that's not what I meant to do, but I guess we're going to the beach. Just kidding. I guess it's worth selling that. I don't. I already have one for the Sweet Dreams incantation. Don't really need another. Oh, I guess I could ask her if she needs work done. Yeah, I think I will do that real quick. Sorry, changed my mind. Coming back in. Hi, Shelly. Oh no, oh no, okay. What are we trying to do actually? Work. Alright, moon drop. This is the new pine mushroom, field mushroom, and a pleurote mushroom. Alright, we can get that shit. We are all over it, Malila. Don't you even worry about it. Now, one thing is I'm not sure the juice bar is open this early. Doesn't it open at like 10? No, it's open. My bad. Alright, I guess everyone op everywhere opens at 9. I don't know what I'm talking about. I guess I know that song, whatever it is, I don't know. I I really want to get to a place where I can identify all, like, a hundred songs. 
just by hearing them. Because that's the only way I'm going to, you know, get the concerts that I want. Because you have to, you know, you have to, as soon as they're around, you have to jump into action and say, like, yeah, I'm playing this song. You gotta join me, or, uh, you know. Brown mini table. I thought that was a desk for a second. I was like, yeah, let's change up the... The, um... School desk. Because you can do that. You know, I wonder what Victoria and Sanderson's favorite foods are. Maybe I should look that up. Alright, what do I have here? Restaurant floor... Austere floor, marble floor... Austere school walls... I think I like that more than... It's already up. Chinese walls. Oof, that's cool. That's pretty fucking cool. Yeah, that's a good price for that. Um, and I'll get this wall too. Maybe I'll put it up in at school. Let's see, what is Sanderson's favorite food? He tastes salty. Maybe that's just the salt, the, the taste he likes? Yeah, I don't. But what's his actual, oh, it has, it says question marks for his favorite food. That's odd. All right, sorry, I probably shouldn't be Googling and uh, typing at the same time. Micronature, I like that one. That's a good song. Yeah, this isn't half everyone's favorite food. Um, maybe the Enchanted Bros Wikipedia does. Gold Hoops, don't have that one. Digital Collision, Volume Control. I don't think I have any of these. I have plenty of money, so I might as well take advantage of it. I wonder what that instrument is back there. I, I, I bet that's the flute. Yeah, I don't need that. I think, uh... Doesn't Victoria or Sanderson play the flute? I'm not sure. print of this is so tiny. Okay. Victoria likes... Wow, this doesn't have her favorite food listed. Maybe we could, like, discover it and add it to these Wikipedias. That could be cool. Yeah! Neither of these is listed here. Um, so it looks like Pizza is not their favorite because neither of them reacted a certain way, but I could try this breakfast food and see. <laughs> 200 rich, well that's a bargain. Alright. I guess I should go to the garden shop too. I should probably be careful not to spend too much, but, uh, I don't know, I'm just so excited about having a lot of, uh, a lot of cash. I've been pinching pennies for so long. Oh, that's so cute, one of those Tanuki statues. That's really cool. I don't actually want one in my living space. But it's cool. Alright, I'll see about putting up this wallpaper. 
So does the teacher change every hour or is it every four hours? It is, looks like it might be every hour. I don't think we know lightning. All right, yeah, let's do it. For today, let's study all about lightning magic. I'll do my old man voice. This kind of magic is just plain awesome. That was a pretty bad old man voice. It can be used to punish a bad kid, and its power increases the more a child behaves badly. Make sure, though, that you never use it carelessly. Now, to use lightning magic, you first need to transform into a wizard. Load this spell into your stuff, just as shown on the blackboard. Magic star angry. Interesting. Oh, is this from Hannah? Oh my god. There's this boy I'm interested in. I'd like to talk to him a lot more. Is this what they mean by love? I don't know, Hannah. I'm too pissed off about your uh, fart mischief to want to deal with you. Magic star angry. This is what Hannah deserves. She was a naughty girl the other... Okay, that sounds sexual. I don't mean, like, she was a naughty girl, but, you know, she, you know, she was naughty. She was mean. Well, if I see her being bad again, I'll use this to punish her. I don't want to just be, like, totally vicious. Because I think then I'll feel guilty about it. And then uh, I'll give up my grudge out of guilt. But I want this guilt to last a long time. I'm talking about your reputation. What is it now? Did you really solve another mystery? No, I've been solving all of them. Wow. I fucking hate this class. They're all just bullshitters. Alright, um, I don't think Miss Straw's around, or I would change the wallpaper of the classroom. Oh, she's around. Okay. Um, wallpaper. There we go. Now it has a different look. Oh, you know, that doesn't go together that great, but that's okay. I do like that wall more in general. Oh, no. I, that's not the seating chart. I want to move Hannah away from me. I guess you can like even change the school uniform, but I've never really figured that out. I don't know how many... I feel like I've tried to just give him a random piece of clothing and he didn't accept that. What is this, by the way? So this is the fire extinguisher, so what is... What is that? It's like a fire alarm or a fire exit or... Like a fridge? I don't think it's a fridge. that information. Well, I really hope Sanderson or Victoria is up. I'd love to see them. Uh, who's up there? Oh. Uh, Naomi's okay. Apparently she's really cool according to the rumors, so... Tony was seen in front of the school and was doing really weird dot 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 stuff. You know what I mean. I'm gonna, oh wow, everyone's going to do stuff in front of the school. Really weird stuff. Man, 
I go to sleep. I guess I should be asleep. I'm pretty sleepy. Oh wow, Victoria's up already? That's weird. I would have thought for sure that Sanderson would get up before her. I would think the depressed personality would sleep in a lot. Hey, Victoria. No, kids aren't the only people who have to learn things. People have to study their whole lives. When ups start working, they need to learn about their jobs. It's a little depressing just thinking about it. Yeah, that's true. I love her outfit, it's adorable. She's using really weird... Dot, dot, dot. I think that is true. He definitely was using really weird ellipses. You know, really weird, uh, yeah. Apparently Victoria likes special flowers, so I'll have to keep an eye out. Alright, let's see. What if I give her a raspberry? Would she enjoy that? I don't know, maybe this is a bad idea. Okay. I don't think she was thrilled about that. Oh, I was trying to use your DVD player, but yeah, we can talk. Aww. You know, she has a, like, fast food meal in her room, hamburger set. So that's probably her favorite food, if I had to guess. I mean, maybe not, but... I kind of want to hang out, but she's not really that interested, I feel like. Maybe I'm not playing often enough to really foster a good relationship. Which is a bummer, but after I move, it'll be easier to play regularly, hopefully. Well then, there might not be a whole lot left to do. Um, however, my Lila entrusted me with a task. Now, what did she want? She wanted pine mushrooms, field mushrooms, and um, something else. I read it in a magazine. People seek relationships in cold weather to find warmth. In the last summer months, they look for a companion to play with at the beach. Yeah, that's true. People are horny all the time. He is an idiot. A caterpillar is a great gift. I mean, I guess... I'd be pretty cool with, you know, receiving a caterpillar. Those are good for selling. None of those are what we're looking for, though. I'll hold on to this orange May lily. I think this counts as a special flower, so maybe Victoria will like it. <laughs> Asking me to hang out. Maybe I'm not being, you know, nice enough or whatever, but also at the same time, you know, fuck that. I wanna be myself. Oh. Ah, okay, I can't tell if you wanna talk or not, Havana. I I keep hearing that Tony's doing weird stuff, so it must be true. If if someone if you repeat or if you hear a rumor enough, it's got to be true. Like it's the only rational explanation. This is a plurot. No, the plurot is like like a like reddish pink, I think. Well, 
This is not a thrilling episode, that's for sure. And I'm not finding those mushrooms I need either. Maybe they're not available in the morning. I thought I saw some, but I am probably just tripping. any of those mushrooms are around. I'll check up at Lover's Point real quick, but I think we've exhausted our options. Shelly, are you sure you don't want to hang out? Because I'm pretty bored. I, mean, I cannot keep track of all these rumors, but I, I know they're all true. Absolutely nothing you asked for, but I have a couple other things to sell. Let's see, is this orange melee? Yeah, I bet that's a rare flower. Anything interesting here? Got black rose thorn, moon drop, silver ore, ancient dragon scale. Man, I am sorry you guys for the lackadaisical episode. I really wanted to pump out more, you know, hot and spicy content for you all, but... You know, today's just more low-key, I guess. Maybe they'll show up uh, in the evening or something. Who knows? Man, I at least want to take someone to the juice bar crunk with them. Who's even around? Uh, I'll even hang out with Zoe at this point. I am that desperate. But it looks like absolutely no one's home. I think, uh, is this uh, Blossom's room, maybe? Oh no, if it's Hannah, okay, no, it's, it's Blossom. Hey, yeah, 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 everyone knows about the dragon, this isn't news. Do you want to hang, hang out with me, yeah? Okay, I'm, come on. Let's hang out. It'll be fun. Please. Oh, she's using Victoria's lines. Oh yeah! I don't know, guys. I feel like I'm cheating on Sanderson and Victoria at the moment. Which, you know, isn't wrong in itself, but also I just don't like Blossom that much. I feel like it doesn't it count as cheating if you like the person you're cheating with. It's only cheating if you dislike whoever you're cheating with. Right? That's the rule. Hey, Shelly. Get a good look of me hanging out with 
Blossom instead of you. Instead of anyone else. Get a good eyeful. Okay, let's go to the juice bar. Drown our sorrows. How we can't play enough to get relationships with the people we actually care about, so we're just stuck with each other. We're not inseparable. We're very separable. We're oil and water here. I do like this song, though. No. Alright, fine. Just tell us that we're, you know, made for each other or whatever. Blossom is usually passive. Okay, interesting. So she has the same romantic personality as uh, Victoria. I don't think the same I don't think the I don't think the same main personality means you have the same romantic disposition. Could be wrong. Alright, let's find someone to play music with us, Blossom. Is Tony doing really weird stuff at the school? I guess not. Tony... Where are you? Where's all this really weird stuff you're doing? I guess you could, like, try to play music with Victoria. Like, is this a crazy idea or something? Hi. Whoa, what? Tony was seen doing really weird, has a major drawback. Alright, we're in... Victoria's room, and it's time to play music. Let's play, uh huh, uh huh. Come on, Victoria. This is why we came over. Oh, she wants something to do with it. She only wants to play with us in Sanderson. Not this blossom bitch. She's not interested. Victoria, come on. What's wrong? Every, that's like everyone only wants to talk about Tony doing really weird stuff. He must have been doing some really weird stuff. They both play the flute. These two characters are very similar. They have the same personality, the same romantic disposition, and the same uh, the same f uh, instrument. It makes me wonder if they have the same favorite food. Let's see. just with two flutes. Hmm. Oh, this must be the one that was playing in the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like this one. Uh-oh. Blossom stuck in limbo. Oh.
Yeah, this isn't the best, uh, not the best rendition. Well, I guess that's kind of all we can do. Unless we say goodbye to Blossom and it, like, inspires Victoria to... Oh, what? I... I, I want to say goodbye to you. I want to hang out with Victoria. Nothing fun to talk about. Alright, well, this was not the most thrilling episode ever, but I always enjoy a little Magician's Quest, I guess. So, uh, yeah. I kind of want to use this DVD player. I don't know, I wonder what Victoria's DVD collection is like. I certainly don't see it anywhere. Maybe it's under her bed? Man. Victoria is so much more stylish than Blossom. Like, just look at her outfit. It's so fucking cool. And Blossom's just dressed up like, uh, I don't know, she kind of looks like some kind of doll for a small child in Japan. And there's something about her eyes that I don't like. Like, look at that. They're just, like, very dark and hollow. There's no no spark in them at all. All right, well, I'm going to hop off and uh, do some other stuff before bed, I guess. Maybe I'll even do some really weird stuff in front of the school and get arrested. So on that uh, inspirational note, I'll leave you guys for now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, my God. Oh, wait, why, why are they... Why are they... Why did they do that? That was weird. Yeah, that's pretty relatable. God damn. Alright. Well, that'll give us a lot to meditate on until the next episode. The crushing reality of uh, people's dislike towards us. Or at least people who we whose opinions we care about the most. Meanwhile, Blossom, who we could not care less about. Ugh, oh, this sucks. Victoria's like finally willing to go on a walk and Blossom's like still hanging on to us like a turd. I just want to go to bed. Alright. Farewell, everybody.